All right, man, I have a huge problem. I need to know how to ban someone from my Twitch stream. Can you help me? Yes, this video is for you. Hey, I'm Dale. And I'm Walt. And this is Live Streaming Tech. And if you want to learn more about live streaming online through various platforms like Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, and beyond, make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell notification icon so that way, Walt is happy. That, you save a unicorn. <laughs> okay, man, um, I've actually been streaming on Twitch for quite a while, and I don't have to ever do this too often, but every now and then I get somebody who comes in and ha is very toxic. In other words, they just kind of take away from the chat. Sometimes they troll. How do I ban someone from a Twitch stream. Okay, so first, let me slow you down there. Um, so, Dale, I've had this issue. I've been streaming on Twitch long enough, and because of the character I play, I do get quite a bit of trolls in my channel. So here's the thing. If somebody's coming in and they're just trying to have fun, and they're trying to go along with the gag, now, mind you, I'm a little bit more laxed in my streams versus you, where right. you're more serious, you're trying to convey information across, Correct. and the people that are there are trying to get that information. You don't need somebody in there trying to attract attention to themselves. Well, normally what I would do first, as long as they're not being totally toxic, and what I mean by that is breaking terms of service by uh, threatening, uh, using derogatory terms, uh, hate, speech. hate speech, anything like that, or threatening to kill my family, that kind of stuff. Um, I will just give them a timeout. And if you click on their name here, you can actually see that there is not just a ban, but there's a timeout. So basically what that does is it tells that person, you've been timed out, they can't put anything in chat for a certain amount of time, and your mods can do this as well. So it's not just the streamer, your mods can have access to this as well. Yeah. And what it does is it gives them a cool down. So literally what it's called, it's like, hey, cool down, pump your brakes. And this is for people that have gotten a little toxic, maybe they got a little rambunctious, when you don't want to exclude them from the community quite yet. However, once they start dropping the naughty words and being racist and, you know, threatening people, then unfortunately you're gonna to have to ban them. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and click on the name and then you, once again, just right where you've seen the timeout button, you have this ban button. You just click it, boom, they're gone. They can, they can Now they can still see you. That's another thing that's a misconception to most streamers hmm. is that they think once they're banned, they can no longer see the stream. No, that is actually incorrect. They can still see the stream, but they can't type anything in chat. So here's the thing, it's kind of weird that you don't really lose that viewer as long as they're willing to sit and chat and not type anything. But most of the time, if they're there to troll you and cause trouble, they're gonna they hit another channel, exactly. What about extreme cases? Let's say that they are, they are threatening to kill my, my family or do something malicious or they're just attacking people. Or threatening people. your viewers, other viewers and Yeah, whatnot. so what about that? Because I can block them, but I feel like almost like they're gonna just move to another stream and do the same thing. Correct, and that's what's gonna happen is they're gonna keep doing this until Twitch catches on and shuts down that account. So there is actually a button here when you click, you notice here that there's a report user and yeah. what that does is it sends a notification to Twitch that, hey, and Twitch can actually go back and they can see all of what they put in the chat. So it's there's no hiding. It's not just because we only see it live as the streamers or as the viewers. Twitch can go back and they can look at all mm. the dialogue that is said in chat so they can't argue the fact that they said something that was threatening or whatever to your viewers or yourself. Yeah, so I wanna make sure I'm being very careful whether I press block or report because I don't wanna become Correct. the boy that cries wolf, right? Correct, so for instance, if they're just in there to have a kick or have fun and they just offended maybe you and one of your viewers, they're not being threatening or hateful in any way, just ban them, let them move on. Most likely they're probably some 12 year old kid anyways. And sometimes a 24 year old adult. Yeah. So now that we've covered that, um, once again, I like to state, try timing out the user first, then go with the ban if that last case resort, but by all means, if they break any Twitch terms of service and as a streamer or even a viewer, you should familiarize yourself with the TOS of Twitch to know what is allowed and what isn't allowed. And matter of fact, you can also put these into your dashboard settings, uh, your own rules. So for instance, if you don't like the word unicorn, 
you can actually put that in there that, hey, if you say the word unicorn, I will ban you. I'm offended by unicorns. I'm not saying that you should be, and I don't, I'm not saying that Dale's offended by unicorns. Matter of fact, I love unicorns. I have one in my backyard. Hey, uh, we're assuming too that you are currently streaming on Twitch. In fact, I'd love for you to check out how we dial in our Streamlabs OBS settings to where you can actually have a killer Twitch stream pointing towards the direction, man. Where are they gonna see? Right up there, go into that video. We'll meet you over there.